unfathomable dependence on various appliances like refrigerators, ACs, form the essence of the modern world. Despite knowing that they emit ozone depleting substances, we prefer to stay ignorant. Along with others, hydrochlorofluorocarbon or HCFC is a major contributor to the ozone layer depletion. Whenever we see greenhouse gases, we always remember carbon dioxide. But carbon dioxide is only part of the story. We already seen under the Montreal Protocol that by eliminating CFC, which is a non-carbon dioxide gas, we have got a mitigation uh, of, uh, for the climate change. The same thing is likely to happen when we substitute the remaining HCFC, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, by non-HFC gases. One of the first to take a stance against emittance of HCFC is the small country, Maldives. pleasure to welcome you to this high-level roundtable meeting on HCFC phase-out management plan which is aimed to accelerate in achieving our carbon neutral goal. Um, uh, in the past we've been able to uh, phase out uh, f uh, CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons. What we're now trying to do is to phase out another dangerous um, um, substance which is hydrofluorocarbons. Um, the, the idea again here is to use a, a suitable technology that is economically viable, financially feasible, that would reduce our energy cost um, by using, by shifting uh, to a new technology. Uh, and, and we may be able to start to use as quickly as possible. We did not leave the Stone Age because we ran out of stones. We found other ways of doing things and better ways of doing things. So we want to see other technological shifts, other methods of how we may be able to cool and how we may be able to refrigerate. We have the technology, there's no doubt about that. It's a question of how bold we are in implementing it, using it, and also it is a question of how effective we are in selling the idea to big or more rather rapidly industrializing countries. We should remind ourselves that today's event in your country is also one that we wish to be understood and to be heard across the planet. I think the commitment to move towards carbon neutrality, the approach that you have taken to move towards a green economy in the Maldives, are all illustrations that whether one is a developing or a developed country, an island state, small or large, everyone has the capacity to act. The tragedy will be if the international community does not respond to that willingness to act. And I think this will be one of the big litmus tests of the year 2010. I think Maldives deserves our congratulations for choosing to do this, to accelerate the phase-out of HCFCs 10 years ahead of its commitments. This means that uh, you have moved the target forward from 2030 to 2020. No other, no other country in the world has yet uh, taken on such an, an ambitious challenge. The Maldives is taking a leadership on climate change because we know we are at the front line of this battle. We know we are the ones to face the challenges at the very start of it. We want to show to the world, look, here's a group of people, you know, a very small group of people, but we call ourselves, this, this, you know, it's, it's a nation. We want to remain as a nation. And then we believe that you know, all of these challenges can be dealt with. We haven't lost hope, but we can't do it you know, just ourselves. The remarkable achievement of Maldives is bringing down the HCFC consumption in 2010 comparing to 2009. It is a result of sincere efforts and putting the quota system by the government of Maldives.